Okay, it has been a while, so let's refresh our memory. We took a pencil and made curved lines going down the candy cane, not too many. Then we took a clean white oil pastel and we drew a line down the center of the candy cane. After that, we blended the line, making back and forth motions along the white line that we drew. After that, you chose one color in two different shades. So here I'm showing you a dark red and a light red. Start with the darkest shade first and make back and forth motions with your oil pastel along the outside of that section of the candy cane. Go back and forth until you have a nice solid line of these kind of jagged zigzag motions, but you don't want a lot of the white showing through from the paper. When you're done with the dark shade, switch over to your light shade. Make the same back and forth motions right next to the dark color that you just used. Lastly, it's time to grab your white, make sure it's nice and clean, and blend, blend, blend the inside of those sections on your candy cane. This will blend the two tones together and create a 3D look. Next, we filled up the remaining sections with the two other colors that we collected, doing the same exact process. When you're all finished, it's time to cut out your candy cane and glue it down to black cardstock. Now that we've glued down our candy cane, it looks a little bare. So we want to fill in the background to create a nice balanced composition. I'm just using different shades of green oil pastel to create some greenery, kind of like Christmas tree branches. But you don't have to do this. You could do something else you want if you have other ideas. This is just an example and something that I think looks really nice. Continue filling up the space until you're happy with your artwork. Oh, one more very important thing. Please do not forget to put your name on the back of your black paper. <laughs> 